revealed COVID-19 containment measures. This is due to the rising cases of COVID-19 in the country. The nationwide curfew will now start from 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. And this includes the Lake Region counties that have been observing curfew from 7 p.m. to 4 a.m. Been placed before, and yet we have seen. As COVID-19 cases continues to escalate in the country, government through the Minister of Health has revised curfew hours for the 13 Lake Region counties that were designated COVID-19 hotspots. In a new directive by Health CS Mutahikagwe, curfew in the counties will now begin at 10 p.m from 7 p.m. and end at 4 a.m. like the rest in the country. All restaurants and eateries to ensure that they operate in strict adherence to the protocols provided by the Ministry of Health. Again, there seems to have been a move backwards as far as that particular measure is concerned. There will be strict adherence to the measures. The hours of the ongoing national curfew to continue across the country from 10 p.m. and 4 a.m. This applies now to the counties in the Lake Region as well. In the new COVID-19 containment guideline issued, all public gatherings including political rallies are suspended, as well as intergovernmental meetings. Kabul called on employers to allow their employees to work from home until new directive is given by the government. In the recent statistics from the health ministry, the counties of Kiambu, Nairobi, Kajado, Lamu, Makweni, Muranga, Nyandarwa, Tata Tavera and Tana River counties have been identified as new COVID-19 hotspot zones. All healthcare workers are directed to use the recently revised Ministry of Health national guidelines for case management of suspected or confirmed cases of COVID-19. Members of the public are strongly advised against self-medicating and the use of over-the-counter medicines for treatment of respiratory tract infections. The Minister of Health has directed all teachers to present themselves for vaccination after learning resumed across the country for all institutions for the first time since pandemic began, Kagwe said all places of worship should adhere to one that of the capacity directive, given early and also ensure social distancing is maintained. The Inspector General of Police, Hilary Mutambai, gave a tough warning to politicians, alluding that police will not spare any politician who will go against the current COVID-19 containment measures by organizing political gathering in the country. The government has also directed that barriers should be conducted within 72 hours, to reduce the number of times people meet and barriers should be attended by 50 people. George Mapesa, KUTV. And still on COVID-19, the Kenya Medical Supplies Authority, KEMSA, has confirmed its round the